Oh, here we go. Right, so I'm, this is winners round five. Uh, wait, who's? Oh, uh, Jackie's played two. Yeah. Okay, that should be right. Oh, yeah, I have to change the score. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, actually, no. Oh, I forgot. We have actually have um, the X versus O instead. So let's just correct that real quick. Okay, wonderful. So wait, this is Gwyn's round four then, I guess. So yeah, we'll change it back to that. Alright, here we go. FD, Sheik versus Rosa. I think this matchup is generally seen to be like one of Sheik's harder ones. I mean, probably because of like Rosa's hitboxes. It's probably quite like, you know, Sheik doesn't really want to trade all of that. But yeah. And also, yeah, Rosa's quite floaty, so she doesn't get combo too hard. But probably also gets a ledge trap. Pretty well like Jackie is doing currently. Alright, this is what DX likes to do, you put your like, defensive, uses a lot of like, rolls and spot dodges to get away when he doesn't have the Luma, as most Rosa needs to do. Like Jackie's actually been able to catch on to this pretty well so far, and he's established pretty much a lot of momentum. Alright, DX has his Luma back, so he can go over the perfect Luma fight here, and now up there, actually almost could, that's quite insane. Oh, he almost got the weak hit of the Rosa up here into Luma up there, that's actually a kill confirmed. But didn't quite work out with Um, Rosa doesn't have a different ledge getter, but because like it's so slow, it can kind of trick you. That was actually a very ballsy up smash. It actually hit his shield twice, did quite a lot, quite a lot of pressure, but right. the X gonna DI that back foot correctly. He's still got his Luma, so he's pretty much you know almost up quite good for Luma, right? Alright, uh, hit some jab free. Oh, Jackie's probably gonna get rid of the Luma here. Yep, it's gone. Alright, now, uh. Yeah, it's gonna struggle a little bit. But the thing is, he's out of that percent range where, like, cheeks confirms tend to work. So. Yeah, Jackie might start to struggle to kill here, unless he gets an edge guard. That's pretty much what it's banking for right now. Alright, DX has the Luma back. Just in time for ledge trapping. That was a bit of a questionable RP, but he managed to get away with it. That was an interesting option. Oh my god, the Luma actually worked there. That's impressive. Alright, but yeah, even though Sheik's confirms don't work as well, needles become really impressive. Like, they just hit you off the ground. And that was really nice patience from Jackie, just waiting out Rose's bad disadvantage stage. Catching him with the flare. I like catching the down there. That was a bit of a weird neutral thing there. Perhaps he's just trying to get him sandwiched in between Rosa and the Luma. That was a nice jump. Unfortunately, just misses the back air. Right, he's got the Luma position quite well here. I feel like he meant to F smash there instead of F tilt. Because F tilt's not like, it's not really the one. Alright, Jackie's gonna get rid of the Luma. Alright, now this is really back here. Jackie can just. He's pretty much free to apply any kind of pressure he wants. Luma, Rosa's frame data is pretty poor. Having said that, DX is holding his own, managed to get Jackie off stage. Alright, Jackie can't get in now. Ah, right, that dash attack sneaking under the Luma, that was pretty, pretty nice. Alright, dash attack, alright, Luma's gone again. And DX is slowly approaching that percent where F2 up there is gonna be really scary, especially with Sheikah's Rage. Honestly, yeah, F2 up there when Sheikah's Rage is honestly quite scary, like... I wouldn't be surprised if it would start killing about now. Perhaps not. That Bouncy Fish almost killed on the but yeah, that's another strong move of Rage. Sheik a little bit underrated with Rage, but generally, yeah, her opponent benefits more than, more than she does. Uh, Jackie looking for the edge guard. Oh, I think that was untakeable, and he got beaten away and dies. Jackie gonna take game one. <clears throat> to be honest, in that match, it was just like. The X just really couldn't handle with much of his pressure at all. He had like these little bursts of momentum, but he wasn't able to convert what he wanted into it. He couldn't quite land a killing blow on Jackie. Uh, super, the reason I'm tilted is because I'm never outplayed, I just lose because I'm on tilt. As just ask, just ask Sonics, like, he'll tell you all about that. Anyway. 
We're on Lilac Cruise now. This stage? Mm, I'm not sure if it's Sheik's best one because the tilt can mess up her needles, but I'm not sure. I think it's a fairly decent counter pick for DX17 here. Alright, that down tilt was actually unsafe because Luke was there. Yeah, Dix is holding his own a lot better here. He's just trying to hold stage control at the moment. Well, but, all right. That was smart from Jackie. Instead of going for the follow-up on Rosa, he went for the Luma instead. That's something you should... That is something that's critical to being good at the Rosa Lina matchup. You should always prioritise getting rid of the Luma because once it's gone, like, Rosa pretty much turns into, like, a bottom 10 character. Really easy to pressure, easy to juggle, while Luma is just pretty much what makes Rosa what she is. Uh, but yeah, Jackie's moves aren't quite knocking the Luma away as he wants. He probably needs to get a bit of percent up before the former does start knocking the Luma away. Because like, Luma actually has an invincible percentage bar, so some moves will knock the Luma away after you do some prior damage to it. Alright, uh, the X-Men quite aggressive here. Oh, yeah, that was a nice spot dodge. I'll catch him in the back here. Oh uh, yeah, that landing forward there. The thing is with Rosa. That landing forward is bad in theory, but the thing is, it's like, oh, that was like, not definitely not an intended side beat. But yeah, forward there is pretty much her only landing option, so you'll see her do that a lot more. And that was nice catching the ledge drop, good to be up smash. Up smash launched the boom away. Maybe it does, or maybe he misses. Who knows? Yeah, Luke's going into this game pretty strong at the moment. Oh yeah, he couldn't really do much there. Had to float to the ground, but the Luma came in to save us. Oh, yeah. Sometimes your attacks can hit Rosa, just the Luma will just punish you if you're not careful enough. That was a pretty woke down there. I love it when they go for mix ups like that. Like, I don't know. I just have an appreciation for, like, genuinely random plays. And that was a pretty good up smash, actually. I think it's double jumps. So, yeah, that was really good recognition by Jack there. Alright, it's gone at the ledge. DX, yep, just holding stage control, not wanting to commit too much. It's pretty much what you want to do, I suppose. That down smash for his jump, he's going to go for the two frame? No, he goes for Trump. Okay. Yeah, when Sheik is forced to recover low like that, that's generally a good time to attempt a two frame. Alright. Oh, Jack is just really struggling to do with DX. He's like, just cornering him, just not letting him boom at all. Oh no, Lila screwed him over, I think. Or maybe he just listened to it, I'm not actually sure, but. The yeah, X gonna take that game. That was radical momentum shift. That was really impressive. Yeah. What else stage are gonna see next? Jackie's probably gonna want Town? Town's pretty good for Sheep, but it's also good for Rosa. Oh yeah, he's taking a bit of a gamble here, I think. But honestly, since Sheep struggles to kill, you really want the smaller plus hands. Jabs. Yeah, just at the moment, like, Jackie's just... Oh, yes, really struggling to give it a Luma. Okay, there we go. Right, this is where we're going to see Jackie shine now. Once DX loses that Luma. Yeah, because in the previous game, Jackie just couldn't really kill it. So, yeah, now he's like, he's going to put on the pressure. Just trying to get these extensions. Yeah, the back bow, DX guys does it correctly. Oh, that was definitely the simple. He definitely did not want that up smash. Uh, Jack is just being careful now. I think he's realised that perhaps he's a... Oh, that was a really nice extension. I think that might have been like 50-50. Regardless, he gets the stock anyway. So that was pretty nice. But yeah, Jack has got massive leads. He's only taking 36 damage at the moment. But if he can keep his loom and just keep, you know, pulling Jackie out, then definitely bring it back. Oh, Jackie sees past the Luma. Fortunately, he doesn't really get the damage he wants. Good tech there from Jackie. Because he's probably like, most people in that situation would just think they're going to get spiked. But the Luma there can just like screw you over completely. So, good awareness by Jackie just being aware for that. And yeah, once Luma's taking that hit, space fell and Rosa's shield is going to get rid of the Luma. That's what makes Rosa a little bit more difficult to, a little bit more difficult to play. Because like, in a situation where other characters can just shield for free, you can't really as Rosa because you risk losing the Luma. And that's pretty much essential, right? You have to keep the Luma. 
Oh, I've been on to the loot as well, so nice. Okay. Yeah, Jackie holding stage control. He's been much more dominant in this game. This is more reminiscent of game one in this set. I just saw that's for Jackie. What he's doing now is that because Rose is so floaty, he's just simply reacting to the option. The game punishes that way. Because a lot of people against folk characters can just sometimes randomly overextend, and then like, you know, you're not really exploiting their weakness. It's pretty important to play reactionary against a character like Rosalina when it comes to advantage. Say. Alright, there we go, that's the Luma. Should be gone, yep, and he knocks the X off self stage too. He's gone pinned at the ledge. Oh, he tries to get to the neutral get up, just misses. Alright, the X has got to be really careful here. Yeah, that, that was not the time for the landing, fair. That's the thing, it's like, it's the only option, but it's just bad, so it's like. Yeah, it's a bit of a place Rosa really. Look at that, who's you led to forward and I think that was some dodgy DI on the X part there. Jackie's gonna take it 2-1 over the X-17. Why do Rosa leave his role so much? Because she doesn't have any other options. That's literally it, like her out of shield game is pretty terrible when she doesn't have a Luma. Yes?